Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Recently I started playing with this NeoPixel Shield and found that it was very easy to drive with this Raspberry Pi. So I came up with the idea to create my own binary clock. I made a Python script for this, which I made available to download on my own GitHub account if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description. If you've never seen such a clock before, this is how it works basically. The clock consists of six columns. I've put some separation in between. And the first two are for the, the two digits of the hours, the third and fourth for the minutes, and the fifth and sixth are for the number of seconds. So each digit of the time has its own column. So to read the time, you'll need to count in the binary format. Start with one and then multiply it by two each time, which works like this. The first LED is 1, the second is 2, 34, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. So, this one is lit only, so 1. So, for the hours, let me see, let me get a piece of paper. Like I said, the first column is the hour column, so only the 1 is lit. 1. And this one, 1. 2, 4, 8. So 1 and 8 are lit. Makes 9. And the second column, 1, 2, 4. 4. And 1, 2, 4. And 2 and 4 are lit. So that makes 6. My marker just dried out. And now the second seconds, of course, of course, go very fast, but I'll give it a go anyway. It will here it will jump two and four there we go so it's a quarter to eight right now and that's not entirely correct because the time zone of my raspberry pi is probably set to utc and it's currently um i live in the netherlands where it's uh, right now one hour later than UTC, I believe. So, um, yeah, let's continue. And uh, as you can see, I made some uh, LEDs light very dimly because um, it represents the maximum number of LEDs which can light in that column, which should make it a little more, a bit more logical on how to read the time. So if I put this piece of paper in front of it, starts to look like the real binary clock, like that. Or you could use a piece of milky glass, of course, which gives this great effect. So there we go. And for this demonstration, I used uh, the color blue, but of course, every color is possible. And even the brightness per LED or can can be adjusted. You can even choose to uh, le leave the background color, uh, the dimly lit LEDs, make them go out or make them brighter. It's up to you. So in my GitHub repository, there's also a PHP and JavaScript version. And I did that because, yeah, well, I'm a PHP developer and JavaScript developer, of course, by trade. So I can write those languages pretty easy. And Python is relatively new for me. So I ported my JavaScript version to Python by hand, and this way I was sure that the code was somewhat readable instead of the Python mess I tend to create. So, this is my version of a binary clock. Let me know if you liked it or if you tend to uh, started to use this this code. I, I would be glad to hear from you. So, thanks for watching.